Hi everybody, I'm Crazy Eddie, and this is Terraforma Punk. And today we're going to get started on a bloomery, but before that, we're going to have to expand our smithy. But before we expand this building, I'm going to have to craft a lot of bronze. It doesn't matter which type of bronze. There are three kinds of bronze in terra firma craft, and any of them are good for making a bloomery, but you have to use all the same kind. And that's not a problem for me because the only resources I have are for bismuth bronze. So we'll be waiting until this melts and then we'll be making a whole bunch of ingots. By the way, I've discovered another very useful tidbit of information when using a pit kiln inside or using it anywhere. Don't leave your fire too close to your wooden doors. They have a tendency to catch fire. I'll be adjusting that later. And so we have a whole bunch of bismuth bronze. Each layer is eight ingots, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, 48. So 50 ingots in this pile, we actually only need 32 in order to make a bloomery. And since I've got all these ingots cooled down and I have only made one double ingot so far, I need to make 15 more. And so it's time to warm up the forge. So I am gaining a little more confidence with the anvil. And I have found that I've, I've gained confidence. I can do the welding and pounding this into a sheet in one stroke. It just takes a while to get the hang of it and get the confidence. Now these three I made before I had that confidence, so I'll just have to heat them up again later. But in the meanwhile, as you practice more, things go more smoothly. It is important to note though, how handy it is to have some ceramic molds here in the side slots so that if your ingots do melt, it can catch them. I've had at least a couple of ingots caught that way. If they had melted without the ceramic mold in there, the ingots would have gone away and been wasted. So hey, here's something I've learned. Metal sheets don't stack, which means that as your inventory gets full, you're going to run into some problems if you don't plan ahead, which I didn't. And I've lost at least one ingot to uh, over melting because I ran out of space while I was heating ingots. And I did not have quite enough ceramic molds to hold the stuff that melted because it was two double ingots. So, the more you know.
So once you have your double ingots made into sheets and you have welded your sheets into double sheets, then we can cool the pieces down, those that haven't cooled down yet. And then bloomery and what do we do with it well first we're gonna have to push this wall out so I'm gonna get some sleep and then I'm going to expand my smithy and expanded smithy So here we have our pit kills, and here is where we will be putting our bloomery. I think. And bloomery. Next, I need a bunch of iron ore. Fortunately, I know where to find it. And this time it's not surrounded by giants. I will want to gather some extra lumber before I get started though. So one other thing I've been having to think about lately is the fact that I only have two lives left. And after we get into smelting some iron, then we're going to have to step up to steel. But before that, I'll want graphite, which requires some adventuring and some exploring. But I really would rather have more than two lives before I do that. So I'm going to have to do something drastic. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But there is the possibility that I could lose my two remaining lives while trying to find more. Which could result in a sad end for this adventure. And should that happen, I have to decide what I want to do about it. Do I want to restart another world, as I did so many times before I even uh, started recording this? Or should I just move on to, for instance, Sky Factory 3, which I've been thinking about doing anyway? So I think I'll let that up to you guys. If this series has been interesting enough to you, you know, the four or five of you that are actually watching the series, and who may or may not be watching it regularly, then by all means, let me know about it. And if I do run out of lives, I will start a new game of Terra Firma Punk. And if you don't, then, well then, my last lives will be my last. At least in this sort of world.
So I've gathered plenty of magnetite ore, and it's time to put the bloomery to work. Like so. Or actually, that's how you start and actually make it a bloomery. And after that, you actually load up the bloomery from up top. And for that, you just toss it on in. The maximum amount you can put in is based on how high you can make the chimney. Up to a maximum of uh, four height from bottom to top. Up to eight pieces for each extra block. And then you just light it up with a fire starter and step back and let it do its work. And after 16 hours, you have a bloom. And you might notice a profound lack of ingots here. Sadly, it's not that simple. What we need to do next is heat it up in the forge. Until it's ready to work. A couple of important things to notice. This has 840 units. And yes, that's eight and a half ingots worth of iron. However, if you just let it melt here, you will only get one ingot here. So you have to make sure to rescue it before you get past the danger zone. And then we work it on an anvil to refine it. And we have a refined yellow bloom, a refined iron bloom. which we will then want to split. And there's our eight ingots of iron, except they're still not ingots. And once we get them heated up again, we can put them in the anvil and refine them once again into an ingot. and anvil.
or alternately, if you can heat your iron up that much, you can just heat it up past the danger zone and they'll melt into your ceramic molds. However, I have not upgraded this one to the point where it can do that. So, after all that work, what we have is 8 ingots of iron, and a bloom worth 4 tenths of an ingot. And what do we do that with that? We toss it into the bloomery with 23 ore and 24 charcoal. And our unused bit of bloom will become part of the next iron bloom once we relight the bloomery and wait another 16 hours. So, after eight episodes, we have finally reached the Iron Age. Next episode, we're going to start on some leather and I'm going to work on some armor and iron weapons. And then I'm going to do something drastic about these two lives I have left. One way or the other. Until then, have some fun, build something cool, and have a nice day.